In today's video, I'm going to show you how to set up WooCommerce and Wishlist Member. Hello everyone and welcome. In today's video, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to install WooCommerce, set it up and make it work with Wishlist Member. All right, so what I'm going to do here is, uh, I mean, in fact, before I get started, I'd like to remind you that I've already gone ahead and installed Wishlist Member and it is right here. And I also have two membership levels that I've just created here. And these are very easy to set up. In fact, let me just do one quick one here. So I'll come over here to set up and... The first option here is levels. So I'm gonna click here on this plus button and uh, let, us, let us call this a VIP membership, okay? Okay, so this is my VIP membership here. I'm gonna hit apply. So pretty much I'll leave everything as it is here, return to levels. I can always go in and make some major adjustments later on, but uh, all I wanted to do here is to create this membership. Okay. So now that we've created our membership levels, and in fact, this is the best workflow because you want to have your membership levels first, have your products that you need to uh, set up and then, you know, move on that way because it's going to be very difficult for you to assign the membership levels to uh, during the integration. Okay, so the next step now is to install the plugin. So I'm going to come over here, click on add new. So the plugin we're going to uh, install here is called WooCommerce and this is a free uh, plugin, by the way. So... WooCommerce. Now, this plugin here has been installed over, I mean, like uh, uh, over 5 million times. So as you can see, it's a very popular plugin. And this is by the makers of uh, WordPress. All right, so I'm going to hit install now. So this plugin is mainly used for running e-commerce stores, but it can also be used to sell memberships or even physical products on your website. So, so the reason why I like using Wishlist Member is because it has uh, a lot of options for me to play around with. And in the future, if I wanted to add, say, funnels, for example, I can also add other tools that can enable me to have funnels on my website. So, okay. Right now, it has been installed. All I have to do now is to activate it. Now, this also comes with a wizard that will take you through a step-by-step -step process of setting all this up. I'm just going to say no, no, not right now because it's going to take a long process. And if we need to go through the wizard, you can always come over here and run the wizard again. So I'm just going to say here, skip setup, okay, because I don't really want to go through that whole process. So I would say the very first thing you may want to do here with uh, WooCommerce is to go in and set up your payment gateways. So I'm going to come over here to WooCommerce, click on settings. So here on settings, there's a few things that you may want to go in and uh, set up right away. And that is adding your address here for your store address. But of course, it's not, it's not necessary. But if you want to add your currency, you can always come over here and add your currency as well. And once you're done with that, you hit is save changes. But the area that I'm looking at here is this option here, the payments. So here on the payments, you can see we have PayPal, so you can activate it like that. And then once activated, you can set it up, add your PayPal email address. And then once you're done with that, you hit save changes. And now your, your integration has been added. Now, if you want to use Stripe, there's also a plugin that you can add to this to add Stripe onto this payment method. Okay, the next step here is to come over here to account and privacy. Okay, so here pretty much you can just leave everything as it is. You don't really need to adjust much here, but make sure allow customers to place orders without an account is activated. This is very important that you have this. Pretty much that's all we need to have here in regards to settings on WooCommerce. Next, what you want to do now is to start adding your products. So over here, let's create a few products. So I'm, I'm going to click on add new. So the very first product I'm going to create here is just going to be, let's say, the gold membership. But you can call these whatever you want, by the way. So I'm just using these as an example. So I have the gold membership here. Now, here's the really cool thing. In fact, let me hit publish first. Now, there's two ways you can uh, play around with this. So over here, if you scroll down, you notice that we have this entry here saying wish this member. If I click on it, I can choose which membership level I want to uh, have access when people have bought this gold membership. So of course, we have our memberships created already, our membership levels. And this is why I was mentioning earlier on that uh, the workflow really is to start by creating your membership level and then you create your product and then you can move on after that. 
So this is what it looks like. I've created my membership level and now it's showing because step two is now my product. So now that I've added my product here, I can link it up with the membership level itself and I want it linking up with the gold membership. So I can go ahead and do that. So when someone buys this gold membership, they will have access to this membership level. So this is pretty cool. I'm going to hit update. Okay, now let's go ahead and just take a quick look at how the integration is going to work in here. So I'm going to go back over here to wishlist member, click on setup, and then I'm going to come over here to integrations. So you can see here WooCommerce has been checked, but if you want to remove it, you can always just click on it and disable it this way. Okay, but of course we want to keep it enabled. So what else we can do here is to link a product. So we have already linked the gold membership that was through that uh, drop down that we created earlier on. So let's go through the creation of another product and let me show you the other way of linking up our products with our membership levels. So if I come back over here to products and click on add new, uh, this time we want to uh, set up the, uh, the silver membership, okay? So let's say this is the silver membership. There we go. We're going to give it a price. I don't think I give the other one a price, by the way. So let's say this is 197. Okay. So this time we're not going to activate it here. Or we're not going to link it here. We're just going to add the price. Hit publish. Right. So back over here now on wishlist member, what we need to do is to link up our membership level with our product so that when someone buys that specific uh, membership level, which in this case is the silver membership, we want to assign them to the membership level, which we've just created here. Right, so here is where we can just go to our setup. We can click integrations. And then over here now, you just click on WooCommerce. So next here we can say link new product. So now our product that we've just created, which is the silver membership can be found here now, see? And that is because this is a WooCommerce product. So I'm gonna select it here and then I can choose my membership level. And this time it's gonna be the silver membership. Save and close. Okay, so now that we've linked our products and our membership levels, every time someone buys the product, they're going to be assigned to the right membership levels. So. As you can see, WooCommerce is very easy to use. It's very easy to link up all our products. And this way you're going to have a website or a membership website, which is automated and makes it easier for your customers as they come to access your content on your website. In the next video, I'm gonna show you how to create your custom login pages because sometimes you don't wanna use the standard login page that comes in with uh, WordPress. We want to use our own custom one. So that's what I'm gonna show you in the next video.